Hey and welcome back. Today I'm sharing another handmade journal which is super easy and you only need some envelopes for this. It's going to be a accordion fold book and I will show you how easy it is to make that. I have some A5 envelopes here and I'm adding glue to the flap. I know there is already glue on it but I don't trust it so I add some additional glue and then I just glue it to the pieces I already have and I glue it to the side where I have not the opening and with that tombow glue stick you have a bit of time to line everything up perfectly you can use any size of envelopes or any kind of. I just had these craft envelopes left over, so I decided I will use these. Um, I also don't know if I like the size because it will be a landscape format. So I will see if I like it. And the next page comes to the other side, which makes it an accordion fold journal. I'm not sure how many pages my journal has and something that's really great about that journal is you can add more pages when you want. I just want to empty this bottle of gesso and I think I really like these circles so I will keep it for a while and use it as a mark making tool I believe. I've added two layers of gesso to this page and this is going to be my front and I just start by adding some texture with a background stamp. I'm using archival ink to stamp as this is waterproof and I want to go on top with more wet medium. My video is a bit dark today. The reason for that is that when I recorded this it was, I believe, the second time I used my new phone to film and I had no idea how to set up everything right. Now I know, but this video is going to be a bit darker than usual. I'm adding texture with a stencil and some Liquitex light modeling paste. The stencil I'm using here is from Stamplerations. When the paste is dry, I go in with my brushes and therefore I'm wetting the book or the spread and then I sprinkle them onto it. I really like to play with brushes. They are really much fun and they create really different kind of backgrounds depending on the technique you're using and of course on the colors. You have different options. You can just wet your background and then sprinkle the brushes into it. You can sprinkle the brushes on your paper and then spritz it with water or you can mix these techniques. Of course, you could also apply them with a brush. It's maybe not the best idea to use such a wet technique with this journal because it really soaks up the water but finally I let everything dry and it was just fine. I 
I'm now adding in some Nouveau Shimmer powders. These are similar to the brushes. They just have some shimmer in it. And I can't remember which colors I've used, but I will try to list them all in the video description. I'm using my black watercolor pencil to make some marks on my page. I love to scribble onto the wet surface and sometimes I also dip a nib into water and then I make just some scribbles to create texture and interest. I like to give you a quick tip if your um, crease of your journal is a bit too thin and when you add a lot of water it maybe can tear. You can use some paper tape. It is uh, with glue and when you add water the glue will be activated. And just add this to your to your crease and then you're good to go and it's a bit more sturdy. I also used this paper tape for my tag journal and I will link this video up in the top right corner info box. My page is completely dry now and I'm going in to build more layers with stamps and here I'm using my washi tape stamp. It is in the grungy stuff stamp set and I create kind of a border on the left side. For the next stamp I just try out how intense the color would be and I don't want to make it too intense but I think it works pretty nice with the colors on the background. I still use archival inks to stamp. I want to add in a bit more gesso to highlight the texture and I slightly wipe over my page with my spatula and just a little bit to give it more dimension and also more texture and to lighten it up a little bit. I'm adding even more stamping to the page. As always you will find all my stamp sets I've used listed in the video description. I picked a jelly print from my stash 
and I want to stamp my main image onto the paper and I'm using one of my inky moths um, as my main image and I just stamp it to this jelly print and then I will cut it out. I'm using the Posca marker to add in more black. I don't want to add in more color but I want to give it more I would say kind of more body so I'm adding in the black. I finally also go in with a white gel pen to add some highlights which give the moth more dimension. to create a shabby or grungy paper where I can place the moth on so that it, she has something to sit on on my page and I just use an old book paper and I spritz it with water after I've crinkled it and then I'm adding brush shows. I let that paper dry completely and now I just tear it into pieces until I'm happy with the size of it. I'm working a little bit with the paper, I look what I like and I see what fits with the moth. And finally I end up with um, three different pieces and I stamp them with some stitching stamps. I also add some of these stamps to the background so that everything fits nicely together. Of course, there is a post on my blog where you can have a look at the close-up images and I will link this up in the video description. I'm gluing the papers down and here finally I found out how to adjust the lightning with the video. I'm very happy about that and I'm very happy about my new phone because it makes really good videos and it has a lot of memory so I can record a bunch of them. I'm using a piece of black thread to lay it under my moth so it has a bit more texture and interest to look at. For gluing it down I will just use gel medium so I have the thread also fixed on the page. It came to my mind that I have these uh, tiny 
beads or these are not beads these are kind of i don't know the name of them they are from finna bear i believe and these are just to embellish your art and give it more texture and i picked the black ones and i have loads of them because i never use them they are laying in my shelf and i really forget that i have them and this time uh, i didn't forget it so i used them i'm just a little bit unsure how um, to apply them it's a bit difficult because they are round and they are rolling away and i just decided to add a lot of gel and then i sprinkle them onto the page And finally, I'm finishing up my page by adding some black splatters. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully you got inspired a little bit. Thank you so much for watching and we see us next time. Bye!